Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. We're in mid journey here and I'm going to show you how to do color palette prompting using style references, the new S ref. Now this is very easy to do, but it allows you to create images in the exact colors that you want it to. So here we go. Here is the palette that I chose. I'll show you how to get this. And then here are the images created. It's pretty much perfect. Kind of Warhol-y, very, very cool stuff. Okay, so the first step is to get the color palette. If you've already got one, go ahead and just grab it. If you don't have one, I go to a website called coolers.co, but you can go anywhere you want, look for a color palette that interests you. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on these little three dots, and then I'm gonna go here, and where is it, where is it, where is it? Export palette, that's what we're looking for. I'm going to export it as an image. It's very important you make it an image, and then I'll just call it cool colors, something like that, and then I'll click on export. Now, when you do that, it's gonna automatically give you the uh, color palette as an image. In this case, it's a PNG. Just click on it and grab it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that image right here. Now, back into Mid Journey, very easy to do. The first step, just go ahead and drag and drop that image on top. And very importantly, you have to press enter. If you don't press enter, Mid Journey, for some reason, doesn't automatically upload the image. It's a little weird, uh, most, most uh, software does, but this one doesn't. So there you go, we've added in the image. Now I'm going to right click on this image and I'm going to copy the link. So I right click on it, copy link, so it's saved. Now, the next step is really easy, just go forward slash, oops, forward slash imagine, and I'm gonna go bulldog drinking, oops, drinking a coffee. There we go, now before I hit enter, I'm gonna hit space, and then I'm gonna go dash dash S R E F space, and then I'm gonna copy and paste in that link. I will put this exact, you know, um, in in the uh, description below. I'll put it exactly in the description below. But you have to have those spaces in there. Now press enter and watch what happens. It's gonna go and it's gonna say bulldog drinking a coffee dash dash style reference, and then we've copied that link, we pasted it in, and then my other stuff is, you know, aspect ratio 69. I'll come back when it's done, and then I'll show you what we got. All right, welcome back. So here's what we got here, and some of them are pretty good. The bottom left one doesn't make too much sense, but if I click on it, we've got some nice bright reds and oranges, and we've got different shades of red, kind of like what this image here has. So the yellow matches the sweater, and if you look up here at the one above it, this one has a little bit, I guess, nicer colors. You'll see here that this is all there is to it. So if you've got your own brand or you've got your own logo and stuff and you want to match colors, that's it, guys. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.